Typhoon as it is now has three six inch by six inch. We call them multifunction head down displays. So they're quite resol low resolution and uh, they're quite small. They were great when the aircraft first came into service and was an air to air aircraft only, but now the aircraft can do so much more. And the next generation of this airplane will be not just doing the air to air role, it'll be doing the air to surface role. It'll also be doing uh, electronic warfare, electronic attack with the new ECRS Mark II radar. And um, with that, those six inch displays are, they can give you good resolution on where you are, make a good, give you good resolution on where your targets are, but not at the same time. So you end up working quite hard to change the zoom levels, to change the resolution, to keep situational awareness on everything. With this huge display, we've deliberately tried to get the biggest display into the cockpit that we can. You can keep situational awareness on your own position, your friendlies, and you can keep situational awareness on where your targets and any hostile aircraft are that you're employing weapons against, all without having to waste valuable time and resources changing the display and changing the setup. And I can't help but notice with the one big screen in front of you, what happens if it fails while you're on a mission? So if you lose the uh, this screen, you will have lost most of your mission functionality. But in order to get the aircraft safely home, we've incorporated these panels off to the side. We call those the HIPS or the high integrity panels. And we can actually certify, we're going to certify the aircraft to fly on these alone. The essential information such as fuel, uh, hydraulics, uh, IFF, radios, an attitude indicator to get the aircraft home will all be on those panels. We can't see at the moment a heads-up display. Yes, yeah, so in, in order to get this uh, large area display, we have removed the head-up display, but that information will be reproduced on the pilot's helmet visor. The same symbology that we see head down is duplicated, kind of like using the, the real world as an extra display to keep 360 degree situational awareness. Finally then, systems like this are already in other advanced jets. Typhoon's an established platform and we anticipate it will probably be used for decades to come. So how important is it to keep it updated in a sense? Well, in the time frame that this display is going to be available, the Typhoon won't just be fighting conventionally using missiles and bombs. Uh, it will also be fighting in the EW spectrum. That's an awful lot for a pilot to do with those three older displays. Whereas with a, uh, a large area display such as this, it's more or less infinitely configurable. So it will keep up with the pace of change of the airplane going into the future. And that'll be a long way. Thanks for watching. For more from Forces News, like and subscribe to our channel.